Good morning. Our reading today is taken from 1 Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 2. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourselves be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, see, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone chosen and precious. And whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you then who believe, he is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, and they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own possession, in order that you might proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvellous light. Once you were not a people, now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Let's pray together, shall we? Almighty God, Through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that as by your grace going before us, you may put into our minds good desires, so that by your continual help, we may bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.